Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is grocery haul plus fridge restock and pantry organization. I'm going to show you everything that we got with this grocery shopping haul from Walmart and Sam's Club and how I put them away. I hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful with all the kitchen organization ideas I'll be showing you. Let's clean our kitchen together and organize with me. We got this last time, right? Ready, you guys so we're going to start right here um we have gatorade here this is the 20 ounce uh 24 pack we got um two cases of those we have um pepsi a case of pepsi right here we have nesquik um here and then here on top we have 60 pieces of eggs we have some chicken breasts um we have pork loin um, filet here. We've never tried this before. So my husband picked this up and we want to try this for this um, weekend. So um, before, um, if we cook this or um, try it before I upload the video, I'll let you know how it is. Um, we have some ground pork here. Um, I pick up um, a lot of them because we use these all the time. We have some pork chop. Um, we have chuck rose here, beef stew meat, and some steak. This is the thin style uh, ribeye steak from Sam's Club. Um, all of these meat are from Sam's Club, including the pork loin, and then those ones over there are from Walmart. And then we also have a whole chicken here, and then a lot of dairy items over on this side. So we have Chobani yogurt. This one is, these two actually are my favorite yogurt of all time. I get this all the time. So this one is the Greek yogurt from Greek Gods. And this is the honey vanilla. I like to use this for like parfait. So if you like parfait, you can use this, put some fruits and also some granola on top of it. And it's really good. Um, that's what I usually do. I take this to work too. So like that. Um, we have some mild cheddar sticks here a couple of those my husband really liked that and my son um we have whipped cream uh cheese here 
Um, we have lapping cow's cheese. Also pick up uh, Parmesan cheese because we are completely out of that. Um, mac and wheels, shredded cheddar, uh, cheese strings, and then a lot of potatoes here. Uh, if you can tell yet, we like uh, fries and um, potatoes. So we have waffle fries here and then shredded hash browns. We have some tater tots there. I like to make this for breakfast. Um, so was this one, but um, I lean towards this these past few um, weeks. We actually are out of this completely and this, so we pick up some more. I got this croissant. Um, I usually like to use this for like, um, what's that called? Oh my God, I forgot. The Franks in a blanket. I made that, um, I usually make that occasionally, but every once in a while I would like just make it just because... And I use this and then I put a uh, lapping cow's cheese inside it and it's so good you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to show you how I make it and like the recipe. Because it's super easy. And then here we have some canned items. Um, Nestle um, cocoa powder. This is like the only one left in the store and it's like vented over here. But it's the only one left so we just pick it up. It's still sealed inside it anyway um we have some canned goods here um it's like all different kinds there's chili mac here there's spaghettios um this is mushroom canned mushroom we have this all the time it's a staple um we have table cream here i also like to use this for um when i'm cooking for a recipe usually lasagna big city like, uh, pasta anything like that um i pick up um one of these i don't usually have this on hand but i need to um last time i make a beef stew it's so good but um the recipe that i found is supposed to have this i don't know if it's gonna change anything because it still turned out good without this but i wanted to try this and it's like such a small one anyway so i got that um baking powder um i grabbed this from smith's yesterday so these are from today these are from uh yesterday i grabbed them from smith's i usually grab my produce from smith's because walmart don't usually have good uh produce items and for the produce it's not a lot because i usually get this once a week at um smith's close to our home and i pick up new ones every week because they do get bad really fast and once they look soggy i really like it's not appetizing to eat anymore so i just grab new ones every week so we have some bell peppers here oranges bananas zucchini uh, mushroom and jalapenos i'm actually going to make this for a recipe like a roasted uh, vegetable like that uh, strawberries spinach i pick up this um z bar here this is the chocolate chip um my husband got this um jet pop it's a marshmallow um cream and then i got this honey almond butter i've been like eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly but instead of using peanut butter i used this one and you guys it is so good if you haven't tried this um honey almond butter if you like peanut uh, even if you just if you just like peanut butter um try this and i think you're gonna like it because it's so good if you like almond i think you're going to like this but like i said i like to use this for peanut butter and jelly so i got this um strawberry um jelly as well and i like this specific um kind or and brand so there's that we got a couple of the model lines here we have some chips here uh cookies and then a lot of breads over there we have this this is the baguette one we have some pulled chicken in the fridge so we're going to have that for the weekend so we'll put barbecue sauce and then just the baguette here that's gonna be like for dinner we have um, some sliced bread there and then bagels over there. Uh, we have cereal and then some pasta roni there. Um, I'll turn around so you can see better. Okay, so like I said, we have breads over here. Um, cereal. I got this um, steak seasoning. This is what I like to put on the steak every time I cook them. And then some pasta sauce here and flour. And then I said cereal, right? And then pastaroni over here. These are the flavors that we like. Uh, this is the angel hair pasta with herbs and then the butter and garlic. Anything butter and garlic is so good. So I got that. Um, 
chicken fried rice this is a staple here i like to take this to work or um, if i don't like do meal prep then i would take this to work we have chicken parmesan here and some breakfast bowl here it's two boxes there's only eight in one box so we have a couple of those because we are completely out um we have some milk here this is the latte this is the one that we get all the time and look at the um shop life on that it's like really for like a couple of months so that's good um this one guys if you haven't tried it's butterfly um shrimp it is so good um it's obviously not healthy but it is so good and we love shrimp here so this is um we pick up some more uh chow mein here this is also one of the things i take to work if uh, i'm like really rushing and did not cook anything on my days off usually i cook on my days off so that i have food to take to work because i do work a physical job if you are new here um i do work 10 hours ship a day and after like a long day of work i just i tend to just like really not cook so that's why we have a lot of prepared items here frozen items but um i usually do i try my best to like cook some so that we don't always eat frozen but um we have this i like to take this to work like i said i put some lemon um juice and then salt and pepper and it's so good uh cut um fish fillet here this one you guys my favorite um fried fish it's so good uh, i think i forgot to mention too we also have this um cook um sausage here frozen one uh we had the raw ones too but this is like something like if we need something right away you don't have time to cook then we got that and that is everything that we got for this month you guys so i'm going to be putting away everything now restock the fridge and pantry and organize everything let's do this so these are um the list that i made before we went uh, grocery shopping i usually like to make the list like a couple days before or and then the day before we leave, I double check the fridge and the pantry. Um, before I put away everything, I decided I wanted to eat first because I'm pretty hungry. I do like to eat something a little bit, at least a little bit of something before we go grocery shopping because shopping hungry is one of the worst thing you can do, so don't do that. Um, I had a banana earlier and then my coffee. I haven't still finished my coffee, so I'm going to um, try to drink that while I'm putting away everything. But I wanted to eat something really quick, so I'm going to um, have peanut butter and jelly or almond butter and jelly and the bread. So um, I'm gonna do that really quick, have a quick snack, and then put away everything. <laughs> best thing i like about this um, almond butter is that even if you put it in the fridge it doesn't go hard like the peanut butter like it's still like spreadable and super easy to, to use unlike the peanut butter so My son likes this too. So I always forget to uh, mention how much we how much we spend for grocery. We spend like less than three hundred fifty at Sam's, and then I think like three fifty at uh, Walmart. So like seven hundred dollars more or less. But those this um grocery um haul they we don't really finish all of them in one month you know like some items yes and then some items it lasts for like more like longer than that like months and more so especially the freezer i uh, have for freezer <laughs> the frozen items and some of um the meat unless like i cook them like right away usually the ground pork will be gone like in a month we use a lot of that same thing with the steak and then the chicken um like i don't know sometimes we have some left sometimes we just use it all like i said it just depends like if i cook or if i meal prep that week i don't always meal prep every single week i try but sometimes i just get too tired and i have so many things to do so 
There's that. All right, my friends, before we restock the fridge, freezer, and pantry, I'm going to be separating or portioning some of the meats that we have so that when I defrost them, I don't have to pull all of them at once. I can just like pull whatever we need for that um, specific day, specific week, or specific recipe. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm also going to label them and date them with just like a marker. I actually don't have any black marker right now. My son used all of them and play with them. So I have like a blue marker, definitely need to get black ones for labeling. But this is how I portion and separate our meats. If this is your first time here, I am so happy you stopped by and click in today's video. My name is Sel, I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of One Sweet Boy. If you like these kind of videos, as long as lots of realistic cleaning motivations and satisfying home organizations, I upload these kind of contents every Friday, so be sure to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. So with our chest freezer, I have a system put up here. I'm using these white basket bins that I got from Walmart. You can also find this kind of basket from Target. A lot of you are asking about this, so that's where I got this. Some of them are from Target, some of them are from Walmart. They're very similar, so you can get them either or. So on the very left side bottom, we have all of our beef and some of the pork. And then on the right side bottom, we have all of our chicken. I can put up to like four baskets in here. So on top of the beef basket, we have all of like the potatoes and fries. And then on top of the chicken is another basket with all of our seafood. You'll see later how everything turned out. I'll give you a quick tour in our chest freezer.
right you guys so these chest freezer as you see it's really full right now um the bottom basket have all of our beef and pork and then this basket have all of the potatoes and fries um this one just have like the overflow that doesn't really usually fit here so we have the fried rice here like there's um leftover um chicken no not chicken <laughs> corn dogs there and then this one i couldn't put it on the bottom because i will not be able to put this here if i do so i just put this here on top uh for now also this fries here is supposed to go down there but we bought too many fries what can i say we love fries so um they're here for now because there's there's space there truly nothing down there um there's like one frozen dinner down there but that's okay um waffles garlic bread chow mein right here this is the chow mein's home pretty much so i have this there i still have the box in here i just took out the top so that i can see it and then on the bottom here we have all of the chicken the bottom basket and then this top basket have all of our seafood so as you see we have like fish here um we have shrimp we have raw shrimp right there we have crab cake um we have salmon right there then we also have the um codfish in here as well so it's really full right now and i love it all right you guys so i have all of the dairy item here and a few more uh frozen item here um and uh produce so i need to put them in the fridge now this is the current um situation of the fridge here i'm gonna take out everything that's in here and then just kind of wipe this down really quick um it's not really dirty i recently just cleaned this so i'll just like take it out to see where i'm like going to start and then put it back in
outside in our backyard. I'm going to be organizing our fridge here. Um, don't mind the rug. I hung it there to dry, but I completely forgot that I hung it there to dry. So now that it's raining, it's super wet again. So that's a bummer. But yes, it is still raining. As you see in the background, it's like raining hard in here. Well, it's not really hard, but it is hard for Las Vegas weather. So um, let's get organized the fridge here outside.
Well, this is pretty much it for this video, my friends. I hope you find this inspirational and helpful. And I hope you get some ideas on what to try next for your own grocery shopping trip, as well as some tips in organizing your fridge, freezer, and pantry. If you like and enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up. It does help support my channel and lets me know you want more videos like this so I can keep making them. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with me today or cleaning and organizing with me today. I am so glad to get to spend time with you and I will talk to you all again on my next video. Bye my friend.